before, we were approaching sequencing, controlling the STS with a linear sequencer, the Metropolis. But we could also maybe go a little bit more of a non-traditional route with the Rene, a non-linear sequencer. So we can start the same way. Uh, send two clock pulses instead of one from the QCD here. So we'll go Y clock and X clock. And right now we just have two pulses, the purple cables triggering the STS, both channels. So we get a nice little complex scanning rhythm that we can maybe hold on a, on a pattern or on a stage, or we can address in different ways with different speed combinations. So we have a quantized CV here and a non-quantized CV here, so we could start sequencing other parameters on the STS with the Rene as well. So maybe send the quantized CV into one volt per octave. And then let's see what plugging into length will do with the CV input. So now we're modulating the endpoint from this as the offset. Bring up the other channel length, maybe. Maybe we want to select that sample as well, so we could take the same CV out. We could turn down our values here on the Rene, if maybe we're getting too much sustain. We could hold for some silence and let it go back. Got to get more length to play more of the sample if we wanted. We could offset that sample point. So these are just a couple ways you could use a sequencer to trigger the form STS. Really the options are limitless. But as far as a straightforward approach, these are going to be a couple of the uh, techniques that are most useful and that we uh, use often here at the shop. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have fun patching.